Hi, welcome Bitcoin day traders to the Bitcoin day trader channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to create a strong password. A password that you can use on your wallets, a password that you could use wherever you need a special password. The main idea of today's tutorial about making passwords is first knowing what's a weak password and second knowing how to build a strong password. I'm gonna teach you a technique that I have learned from hackers how to actually keep your password safe and how to make some kind of password protocol which would help you remember your passwords and in the same time makes it a lot harder for hackers to actually crack your stuff. What you don't want is using a password over and over and over again so that if one hacker finds finds one of the passwords, your main password, that you lose all your personal information online. You lose your emails, you lose your, your whatever, and you don't even want to use one of those passwords on your Bitcoin wallets because you're going to lose your money too. We're going to build a password with two components. One of the components will be the main password that you would use everywhere, on every website, on every program. It doesn't matter, just a basic password, and we're going to build a program-dependent password. And we're going to combine that together so that we won't have an easy password and we have a difficult password that is never the same. So first of all, we're going to talk about weak passwords. I have found a list on the internet with very unsafe passwords. These passwords are so easy to crack. Brute force. I'm going to teach you how to brute force, for instance, your Bitcoin wallet because we're all about Bitcoin wallets here and Bitcoin in, in general. But first, we're going to teach you the easy passwords that well I, I found a file somewhere online that says well these are the 10 million most used passwords ever it's an interesting list because it starts with one two three four five six obviously very easy the second one will be password then we got one two three four five six, seven eight and probably because you need at least eight digitals or eight eight letters to have a password so someone would just type in one two three four five six seven eight to get his eight cool one I found was baseball dragon here I found a password that I even used Fuck you that's one of my old passwords man I shouldn't have told you this computer Michelle Jessica pepper whatever you can just scroll in it and it's all easy passwords so whenever somebody wants to brute force a wallet to steal your stuff they might use these easy password lists the most common password list and if your password is in this list it's gonna be very easy to brute force your whatever like if it is a wallet which is important for us the Bitcoin day traders or if we use it to open your Facebook account your Hotmail account your Gmail or whatever so you can go to the website random.org and it would show you a, a really random password. If you have a random password and you use it everywhere again, then you could be hacked and they could open all your things. What you want is a different password for every program you use. But at the same time, you want to remember all those passwords. And you're going to get a hard trouble if you make difficult passwords for every program a different password. You're going to forget your passwords. I forgot my password. One of the main things to do is have a sort of book where you write down all your personal information. You need to write down every password on a piece of paper. You can put that in your safe, you can put that somewhere safe in house, you can even put it at your mama's house. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep your password somewhere written down on paper. This is a hard lesson to learn, man. I've lost a lot of things before I actually started to do this crap. We want to make a program dependent password. In the same time, we want to use a main password. And why would we use those two? Because a program dependent password is hard to make for every program and you should use a protocol. I'm gonna teach you a protocol taught to me by a hacker and he said usually you need like at least eight characters in a password. It's recommended to have like 12 so usually when you you type in 12 characters it would say that your password starts to get stronger. In this tutorial we're gonna use the main part will be day trader. We would use the word day trader everywhere in every password and we would add a small part that is program dependent. You gotta figure out a protocol that you will remember and that you can use everywhere. You can even write down on paper like YouTube is number one, Facebook is two, Google is three or Google and YouTube are the same but it's it's about the main ideas. If you use a protocol for your passwords it will get easy to remember them because you only have to remember your main part and the program dependent part you can create a protocol for that. 
Like for instance, if it's Facebook, you can use Facebook in your password. For instance, say Facebook Day Trader. On Google, you use Google Day Trader. Or for your Bitcoin wallet, Bitcoin Day Trader. Wow, that will be a terrible password for me. Because you would guess that very easy. I think that this was a very interesting topic. I wanted to thank you guys for watching. I hope I inspired you in creating safer passwords. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you guys next time.